Hey, what's up guys? It's um, Thursday, January the 13th, and I am just getting started for the day. It's about 11.02. I've had the apps turned on for about 10 minutes, um, and I now have my first order. So I hope you guys are all having a good day. So I'm picking up from Chipotle, which is just across the street from me, so it's not going to take me long to get there. It's for $11.50 and it's going 1.5 miles. It did say it's a catering order and then I needed my catering bag and there was just one item. So it also showed the message that it includes um, the customer tip. So I don't expect this to be any bigger just for that reason. Um, but for a mile and a half at $11.50 plus I'll get a $2 on time fee. Um, you know, it's gonna be thirteen fifty, I think, by the time I get done. So let's go get it done. I'm picking up a catering order for Matthew S. I have that catering order on board and it was uh, four boxes and two bags of chips so it's just kind of weird that it showed like the full payout if it's this big so we'll see what happens I'm about 0.6 miles away uh, from the drop-off and it's gonna take me about three minutes to get there okay guys I have that uh, catering order dropped off it was a hand it to customer of course since it was so big so when I got there it was uh, on the third floor but there was an elevator so it wasn't horrible but I still had to make about three trips now I don't know why this happened but it's a holy cow guys okay holy cow uh, it ended up being forty dollars and fifty cents so it was a six dollar base pay two dollars for the on-time delivery and then it was a thirty two dollar and fifty cent tip which is great. I'm not complaining, but the thing I don't understand is why did the initial offer show that it already included the customer tip? That makes no sense. So I guess you can't really believe what catering orders say as far as what the payout is. I mean, I'm glad it was more. I just don't understand why they showed it that way. So um, I have another order to pick up. Uh, let's see, it's on Uber Eats and I'm picking up two orders. The first order I'm picking up from Dos Realis and the second order I'm picking up from Buffalo State Pizza. So I'll pick both of them up first and then drop them both off. Um, and it was for like 11 miles and something for $19.80 if I remember correctly. So not a horrible order, not perfect, but you know, gotta get that money in my pocket. Yesterday was a hard day. I did not reach my goal. I didn't reach my normal goal of 200, um, but lately my goal's been 250 a day because I'm trying to get some money saved up for a trip. So I'm hoping today is much better than yesterday. So, so far we're off to a good start. So I'm sitting at Dos Realis right now. So let's go in and grab it. Uh, Dos Realis on board. It took him a little bit to get it out. Dude. People just back out. Don't care if you're coming or not. I was not going fast. It's not like you... Oh, geez. Not like you didn't know I was coming. And then they didn't back out far enough, so then they had to stop and turn and do all that again, too. Alright. Where was I? Um... So I had to wait a little bit for the order. Um, he said the kitchen was really slow. So I like the guy in there, he's pretty nice. Um, so he um, had to go back like twice and check on it for me. So, but it, I probably wasn't in there any longer than seven minutes. I am about 5.2 miles to the second pickup and it's gonna take me about 11 minutes to get over there. So let's go grab it. Uh, yeah, for Uber Eats, uh, Toby. 
right guys, I got that Buffalo pizza on board and it's about seven minutes to the drop off for the uh, Dos Realis. So let's go get it off. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you, Jane? Hi, Jane. All right. Okay, guys, next drop off is about uh, 1.8 miles away. It's going to take me about six minutes to get there. So let's just go get it off. All right, guys, I um, got that order dropped off. Boy, that sounds bright. Um, I got the Buffalo State Pizza order dropped off. He was actually outside waiting. So I currently have an order on DoorDash and I'm picking up from Jasmine Gardens. I didn't get an actual screenshot of the offer but as you can see from this um, screenshot it was for eight dollars and if I remember correctly the miles was about 4.4 so picking up four items uh, I'm about seven minutes from the pickup uh, right now and 2.5 miles so Looks like I'm gonna have about half the mileage done by the time I get there. So the drop off should only be a couple miles um, once I get it picked up. So let's go get it. Hey, how you doing? Uh, for kale. Kale Y. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, guys, that order was ready and waiting. I'm only about uh, five minutes from the drop-off. Uh, it's only 1.7 miles. It's going to an office building. It's a hand to customer, so uh, it should be pretty quick. Hopefully they're down there waiting. Um, if not, I'll just leave it at the guard's desk and take a picture. I am not expecting this to be more. The miles to money was still in a good range, so if it's not more, I'm okay with that. If it's more, that's even better. So uh, let's just go get it off. Hi there. Hi. Maybe they were going to meet me down here, but maybe not. Maybe later. All right, guys, I got that Jasmine Gardens order dropped off. Okay, guys, I uh, just accepted an order on DoorDash, uh, picking up at Wendy's, and it's uh, for $6.50, going 0.8 miles. And there were eight items. Uh, with the fast food places, I don't really expect the offer to go up. Um, if it does, it might be 50 cents to a dollar. The restaurant's right across the street. It's only gonna be about half a mile to the drop-offs. And so, uh, let's go grab it. For Samantha F. Oh, you guys got them up here now? Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay guys, I uh, have that Wendy's order. It was already ready when I got there, which is really unusual because usually you have to check in and then they make it. So it's about 0.6 miles to the drop off and um, it's only gonna take me about three minutes. So let's go get it off. I got that Wendy's order off and um, I almost dropped the soda. Well, I didn't almost drop the soda. As I was putting it down, one of the sodas almost tipped over, but I caught it, thank goodness. So, oh goodness. But other than that, I didn't have any other issues with that drop off. So I took an order on DoorDash and it's picking up from Papa John's. It was for $7.75. It had 10 items, which I don't know what the 10 items are. Uh, it doesn't show it. <clears throat> it could just be, you know, dipping sauces for all I know. Um, and it was for like four miles, if I remember correctly. You know, it was almost eight bucks for four miles. It's kind of how I looked at it. Not quite my $2 per mile. So the pickup's only about five minutes from where I dropped off. So let's just go grab it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you too on that Wendy's order, um, 
it went up to eight dollars and fifty cents from six dollars and fifty cents so uh, two dollar increase i'll take that i was really surprised because it wasn't going very far at all hi pick it up for natalie s natalie s doordash guys I got that Papa John's order on board and it looked like uh, most of you know I said there was 10 items and most of it was like the peppers and a couple of sauces so, um, I think it might go up just a little bit because those were pretty good sized pizzas that I picked up so um, I'm about eight minutes from the drop-off and it's like 2.8 miles so let's just go get it done got that order dropped off uh, easy peasy it ended up being nine dollars and twelve cents so I don't know about twelve cents kind of odd but um, I'm just waiting on my next order right now so I'll let you know when I get it okay guys I just got an order on Grubhub it's picking up at bowling's uh, it was for seven dollars and twenty five cents so it's um, only 2.7 miles total it's about 1.8 miles to the pickup, so it should take me about seven minutes to get there. Um, so let's go get it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, for Crystal G. Crystal? Crystal okay, G. Okay, let's start with an adjustment. Sounds good to me. Just picking this one. Okay, 1982. Go ahead, sweet. Thank you. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks. Do you need a receipt? Oh, I do, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, I have that uh, Bullings on board. I had to pay for it with my Grubhub card. So um, I almost forgot to get the receipt, but really that was just the receipt for uh, doing the credit card transaction. They always put an actual itemized receipt on the bag. So I think that's why I didn't think about taking that receipt with me because they always have it on the bag. I'm like three minutes from the drop off. It's only like 0.7 miles. So let's go get this thing off. Okay guys, uh, when I got to the drop off, uh, I had to call the customer because I didn't have their apartment number, so uh, she gave me that information. Uh, after that it was an easy drop off. So uh, I currently have two orders, uh, one on Grubhub and one on DoorDash. The DoorDash is picking up at um, Johnny's Tavern and then the Grubhub is picking up from Panda Express. So they're both heading the same direction and that's why I took them. So um, Panda Express is probably less than a mile from me. And then Johnny's Tavern is gonna kind of be on the way to the drop off uh, for the uh, Panda Express. So I'll pick them both up first and then drop them off. Uh, one's for $7.25 and it's going a little over four miles and then the other one is $7.32 and it's going about five miles. Well darn guys, I um, didn't get that Grubhub <laughs> from Panda Express. 
So I think I took a screenshot and then jumped over to DoorDash to try and uh, get the screenshot of it real fast. And I forgot to actually accept the Grubhub. So I just have the Johnny's Tavern uh, order. Of course, it's not as good of a trip now as it would have been had I had the other order, but hey, still money in my pocket. So I am about a minute from the pickup, so let's go get it. For Morgan, yeah. Morgan. Yeah. Okay, it looks like it's about three miles to the drop off, and it should take me about eight minutes to do it. Um, the order was ready when I got in there, and I think this one will probably be just a little bit more. Johnny's Tavern is. Uh, usually has a little bit higher priced items so I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's more I, I don't think it'll be a lot more but I think it'll be a little bit more so uh, let's go get it off and find out issues other than trying to get it out of the bag I'm just kind of waiting on my next order oh that order did turn into an 850 up from 725 so I got an extra dollar 25 I'll take it I'm gonna think I'm gonna try and grab some lunch here real quick and uh, if I get something I'll let you know five minutes from the drop-off so let's go so as I was looking at the instructions on this order it says to leave at door and it says text on arrival will come to main door so there's like a sweet number I think it's a hotel but I'm not positive um, so maybe they're wanting to meet me in the lobby so I may have to call them when I get there I'll let you know You guys aren't waiting on an order, are you? Okay. I went in the first door, and the second door, of course, was locked. I pulled on it. Um, I set my bag down. I was getting ready to text the customer, and he kind of peeks around the corner out the door and then opens the door, and I said, are you Jonathan? And he was like, yeah, I'm Jonathan. So I didn't have to wait very long to get that off, so I was very happy about that. I thought it was gonna be a process. I've accepted another order, this time on Grubhub. I'm picking up McDonald's. It's going like three miles total. And it was for $12.66, so that's a pretty good order. Um, I haven't seen one like that from Grubhub in a long time. So I'm about a little over three miles from the pickup. It's probably only going to be about a mile, mile and a half, I would say, to the drop-off. So let's go get it on board. So should be pretty quick. Uh, I have another order after that on DoorDash. Picking up from Hy-Vee Grocery. So it's actually two orders. It was going like seven miles and some change. More than likely, it's gonna be more than the $20.50 
that was offered. There was like a hundred and something items on it. So it, it's, they're pretty big orders. So I'm expecting both of them to be more, to be honest with you. So, oh, here's what the holdup is. It looks like there's an accident. It's like, good grief. Let's go guys, let's go. So I'm like at the Hy-Vee right now, but I need to go drop off this McDonald's and then I'll come back to the Hy-Vee. So let's go get it done. Hello. Have a good day. Okay guys, I got that dropped off. I wasn't sure where the house was at because it didn't tell me which way to turn on Renee Street. So, um, I turned left and looked at the first house and there was a lady in a, like a hot pink bathrobe, um, waving me down. So I was like, oh, that must be her. <laughs> So I'm almost back to the Hy-Vee store already, so just kind of waiting on a stoplight. Hi. What do you got for Ray and Christy? With a K. <laughs> All right, I have both of those orders on board. One of them ended up having 70 items and the other one had 49 items so both fairly large orders I did look to see what the payouts were on both of them and they both were 1025 so where I'm delivering at is a fairly nice area so like I said before I expect both of them to be more the first drop-off is about 12 minutes away and 5.7 miles and then the other one is not very far from there at all. So they were both fairly close to each other in the same neighborhood. So uh, let's just go get them dropped off. We'll see what I get. Well, there it is, $21 up from $10.25. So good start, let's go get the other one off. So it's only 1.1 miles uh, to the next drop off. So it's only gonna take me like two minutes to go do it. So let's go get it off. for that one up from 1025 so the first one was really good the second one just increased a little bit so not bad turned into $32 order from 2050 I'll take it okay guys I just accepted my next order and it's on DoorDash for six dollars and seventy five cents picking up from chick-fil-a so it should be a pretty quick pickup it's about 452 so not quite dinner time rush so um i'm like 607 yards away from the pickup so let's go grab it all right guys i got that order on board it was ready and waiting when i got there i thought it would be a pretty quick pickup Customer just sent me a message to please leave it on the porch. So I'll do that. Looks like I'm about 3.4 miles away from the customer and it's only gonna take me like seven minutes. So let's just go get it off. got that Chick-fil-A order dropped off. Uh, it went up a little bit, uh, just 25 cents. So ended up being $7. The offer was $6.75. Wasn't expecting it to do anything anyway. I'm just kind of waiting on my next order. So as soon as I get something, I'll let you know. All right, guys, I just uh, accepted two orders. I got one on DoorDash for $6.50 picking up from Hawaiian Brothers. So it should be pretty quick to pick up. It's going like 2.5 miles and it has six items, I believe. 
the subtotal on it was like $71. So I'm thinking it might be a little bit more than that. And then uh, I'm gonna go pick that one up first. And then uh, the other one is on Uber Eats and I'm picking up from Applebee's. The restaurants are not very far apart so it shouldn't take me long to pick them up. My only thing is will Applebee's be ready? Because sometimes they take a little bit. Not always very long, but a little bit. So, so let's go get them on board. We'll go from there. So the Applebee's was for $10.50 and it was only going like 1.3 miles. Well, that's a pretty good order. That's a really good order actually. So uh, I just hope they're quick, that's all. So let's go find out. Alright, I have both of those orders on board. It was kind of funny, it was switched. I went to Hawaiian Brothers first to pick it up and they had just barely started it. So uh, I was like, they told me it was gonna be about five minutes and I was like, I'm gonna go pick up my other order and I'll be right back. So by the time I got, when, and when I got to Applebee's, the order was sitting there ready. So, um, so I picked it up, went back over to Hawaiian Brothers they had my order ready, so it was a quick pickup there. I'm on my way to the first drop-off. Uh, it's only two minutes away. It was like 1.2 miles. And then the uh, second drop-off is only going to be a couple minutes from that one. So um, let's go get it done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that Uber Eats order is dropped off and the uh, DoorDash is only like two minutes away, less than a mile, so let's go do it. All right, I got that DoorDash order dropped off. Um, that ended up being like $10, so with the two orders combined, it was a $20.50 trip for about three and a half miles. So it was a really good trip. I'll take some more of those. Come on guys, bring them on. All right, I uh, just accepted an order on Spark and it's picking up at Sam's Club. So I have never done a Sam's Club before. So I'm not sure where I'm going or what I'm doing. So you guys can experience that with me. How about that? So, but it was for like $17.85 and I'm gonna get all of that up front. There's no tip. They do have the opportunity to tip at a later time. Um, I would be very surprised if that happens, but if it did, that would be great. But even if it doesn't, um, it's still a pretty good order, you know, only going 5.7 miles. Um, I'm just hoping it's not a lot of big, heavy stuff. I didn't look at the items after I accepted it. So I'm just going into it blindly um, and we'll figure it out. I'm about 13 minutes from the pickup. It should be ready because there was a $7 extra amount on it. From, so originally it was like $10.85 and nobody's been taking it. I probably should have looked at the items first. Um, so nobody's been taking it, so now it's like $17.85. So well, let's go see what we get. Okay, so I'm here at Sam's waiting. I found the um, pickup spots. They're just like the Walmart ones, except they're blue. And they're numbered also. So um, looks like they'll just load it up for you and then and then you can go. I tried to uh, look at the items to see what there was, but um, all it showed was amounts, like two of, and then it didn't have an item listed. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'll have to wait and see. Um, there's like, I think this guy's here for me. 
So my order's loaded up already and I am ready to head to the drop off. Um, it's gonna take me about 13 minutes to go that 5.7 miles, which isn't horrible. And most of the items that I could see anyway, well, actually all of the items I could see were small. So no big heavy waters, no big heavy boxes. So I'm hoping this should be fairly easy. So well, let's get going. Okay guys, I got that spark order dropped off. Um, so for the first time doing Sam's Club, I think it went really well. It was really easy. The problem when Sam's orders come up is they're usually not worth taking because there's no tip on them. So, you know, the miles to money ratio just isn't there for most of the Sam's Club orders that I have seen come across. So this one had been sitting for a while, so it had some extra moolah on it. So um, that's why this one ended up kind of being more taking. So, I mean, I do, I always look at them when they pop up, but uh, like I said, this was the first one that I've seen that's ever been worth my time. So anyway, it's off, it's done, and it went smooth. So that's fantastic. I took another spark order and it was for $21.85, I think, somewhere around in there. And it's a shop and deliver order. There's only two items and it's two Dura fire logs. So it shouldn't take me long to pick it up, I would think. And it's only going a little over two miles. Uh, I was about 15 minutes from the store. But, you know, for that price and the amount of time I'm going to spend on it, it was definitely worth driving that 15 minutes to go get it. So, um, it's already 6.30. I'm, I'm getting close now to, I'm probably really close to my uh, goal for the day. So, as soon as I get this one done, I think I might need to do one more order and that should finish off the day. Um, so, Spark has kind of come through for me here at the end, so grateful for that. So let's go get this picked up. Alright guys, I've got that Spark order on board. Uh, I did have a little bit of trouble just because uh, they were out of the item that they requested and then they only had one of the thing I substituted for it. So I'm about uh, six minutes to, from the drop off so let's just go get it off. Hey guys I got that uh, spark order off and didn't have any issues. I, easy to find, easy to drop off so the uh, only thing I'm doing now is just waiting for another order and I think it should be my last one of the night. So I'll let you know as soon as I get it. Okay guys, I took an order on Spark. It was for $38.10. 11.10 of it is the base pay and then 27 of it is tips. The 11.10 is enough to get me to my goal for the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. It's also taking me a little closer to home. Um, not extremely close, but it's heading me that direction. So that's why I took it. I did have to wait about 20 minutes. Um, I think I got it at 7.22 and I couldn't pick it up until 7.45 or, or 7.40, you know, five minutes early. I'm just kind of sitting here waiting on it. It says it's ready, so I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to get out. I was the first one here. Um, so I'm hoping I'm the first one being waited on. Looks like one of the orders had like 31 items and the other one had like 26 items. So not too big, um, but big enough. So anyway, uh, they're here. Not. Dang, they went to the car next to me. 
As soon as I get it on board, I'll let you know. Okay, uh, I've got both of them on board. It's about 7.55, so it took them about 15 minutes to get it out and get it loaded. So I am on my way to the first drop-off. It's about 2.8 miles, and should take me about seven minutes. So let's go get it on. All right, guys, I have both of those spark quarters off. The second one was only like two minutes uh, from the first drop-off, so made it pretty easy. It was on the second floor, but they didn't have anything real big, real heavy. I just had to make two trips because there was quite a few bags. I am going to start heading for home because it's after 8. It's like 8.15 now. I will leave everything turned on, and if I do get something, I'll let you know. Uh, otherwise, I'm just heading on home. All right, it is time to call it a night. It's 8.39, I have everything shut off. So today was a pretty good day. That uh, catering order um, really started off my day well. I did have some periods throughout the day where I sat for a while, but um, you know, luckily I had enough big orders to make up for it, so that was kind of nice. Um, I appreciate you guys riding along with me. I hope you enjoy the video. And um, with that, you all have a good night. And I'll see you in the next video.